And hello everyone, Pallytub here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing well today. We are still trudging along through New Game Plus One. This game is more unforgiving than it ever has been before. If you haven't seen the last few episodes, we have defeated all of the bosses in the castle on their base difficulty. And by doing that, we unlocked the burden system. So we're on New Game Plus One with a 16 burden. What we have been increasing is the uh, chance that enemies will have different affixes, chances that enemies will be leveled up. For instance, these fire mages that we're fighting are normally seen in much, much, much more difficult areas of the game, but we're seeing them in the beginning castle. And we're also scaling the size of the castle up quite consider well we did we got hit quite considerably as well all of these things are basically accumulating in the castle being extremely difficult in areas where it was not difficult before also in between episodes i did spend some more of our soul currency in fact almost all of it that i had left to increase the armor that we can find yet again our character is a little weird today because they have no frame of reference. This is Lady Jenny the Third, and she cannot see what her health bar says. That is her big downside. However, I can tell you from experience that everything that has hit us so far hits very, very hard. So there's no way of telling exactly how damaged or how healthy I am. Uh, so, ooh, two pieces of chicken. That's actually a big help. That might get us going in the right direction. Uh, so this, this run might end really abruptly and it might take away some of the tension for you guys. Cause I know it could be a little nerve wracking when I have very little health remaining and we're all watching our HP very closely. Uh, we don't have any of that right now. I, 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 I feel for you. I get that that's a little weird. It's weird for me too. Just. Just for the record, pretty weird for me too. Uh, but we'll try to make the best of it. The reason why I'm playing as a Dragon Lancer today is simply because these guys, when you level them up, ooh, actually increase the amount of equipment load that your entire account can have. Meaning that if I do actually get a decent run under my belt, if we do actually get some momentum here, we're gonna make it so we don't actually have to purchase some of the armor upgrades that I need, the equipment weight upgrades that I need. Those things are starting to get pretty pricey. So if I can alleviate even some of that, I'm gonna be pretty happy. I also think I'm gonna leave that starfish right down there. Now we are encountering more elites, elites than ever before, uh, but that doesn't mean that I'm good at fighting them. <laughs> so <laughs> please bear with me. I feel so bad. Our last few videos ended really abruptly. I feel like, um, I, 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 don't, I don't feel like I bit off more than I could chew. It's just such a big adjustment. Like, look how tough this enemy is. He has so much HP and they have seekers flying around everywhere. Hopefully, 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 we start to really adjust more soon. I mean, that was just a normal eyeball. Oh, we just killed that thing super easy. Excuse me, sir. Why don't you stay down there and think about what you were doing? Now, luckily for me, the uh, increased size of enemies, like that guy being extra large, doesn't really mean too much for me. Like, I think we can get past that no problem. And I'm getting a little bit better at getting those quick jabs in there with the Dragon Lancer, so I don't have to charge up every attack, you know? Not everything has to be hitting for maximum damage. Sometimes sneaking in something real fast can be just as valuable. We're gonna charge forward into the Starfish, taking it down, doing the same thing to the next one as well. Wait for the trap. Ooh, messed that up. Uh, we might have to do the shield here. In fact, I'm gonna do it. Let's push in and get these guys down while the shield is still active. Perfect. And make sure we don't get hit by those spinning traps. Now, luckily, we did not increase the di- Oh my god. We did not increase hazard damage or anything like that. 
Uh, so, like, traps, even though they are scary, they're not as scary as they could be, that's for fucking sure. Most of the room is cleared out, but again, we have absolutely no point of reference to know what our HP is at all. This run's gonna just end. I have a feeling. <laughs> like, Dragon Lancers, that is what they're called, right? I keep calling them that. They do have a ton of HP. And they do have a decent amount of armor as well. So, I mean, I am pretty tanky in here. And one thing worth mentioning, too, is we finally hit that next threshold. So our health and mana return is... Well, health return, excuse me. Is seven per kill now instead of the six we were dealing with for quite some time. So that is a meaningful amount of HP. Inside a normal chest, we find the leather chest plus one. As I mentioned, I bought the upgrade that allows that to start spawning. I didn't even know a plus four was a thing, so I'm kind of wondering how far that rabbit hole goes. Is there a plus eight? Is there a plus 22? Does it end at four? I legitimately have no idea. Ooh, big room here. Holy moly. We got some moving parts on the right, some enemies on the left, a teleporter to the other side. Wait for the bone! Then we charge. Axe coming up to the high ground to see me. I feel like we're playing okay this time. Maybe the pressure of not being able to see my health bar is actually getting to me a little bit and actually snapping me into good form. Uh, we could shield this one. I don't think we need to. One charged attack for 250 damage is enough to take that guy down. Now, this dude explodes and shoots his own projectiles. So I'm going to make sure I charge up my attack send it in and then get back to the side as well making sure i have enough room to dash out would be pretty important for that guy and unfortunately the thorns on the ground hit me pretty hard we did find some chicken over in the corner which will help out our longevity issues but how much will it help us out same thing with the potion those potions are basically two free enemy deaths if you think about it because we heal for 14 health we have 133% resolve in a very interesting offer inside of this relic room. However, it's not a super, in I mean, it's not quite as tantalizing because what, what that does is we would have to kill our character, but in return for killing our character, we would make more gold. So, because we don't have anything to base our health numbers off of, when do you decide to call it? You know what I mean? It's not, not, not as quite as appealing as I think it normally would be. That dagger was protecting this eyeball. Messed up my placement a little bit, so spawning in that shield just to help us stay alive, I think was the right play. Fireball's about to be coming our way. We can knock back with the Kamehameha wave. Dude, totally annihilated. Fire Mage on the left side, just boop him into the corner. We're totally fine. If we find the boss room, I want to give it some attempts. Shield up. Ah, oh, hit me from the back still. However, uh, if we don't, if we don't make it there, that's okay. Thirteen thousand dollars this run so far is a pretty nice start, if I do say so myself. And nice, we got a hit on both and then a tap through the wall to finish off the other one. We're getting it, dude. I think, I, I, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> it feels like I'm, feels like I'm getting it. Feels like I'm dodging a little bit more stuff, playing around my class a little bit more, even though I'm not super familiar with this class, to be honest. Shield up as we charge in for the mage. I did mess up the follow through, but we do get the kill there and seven more HP return to us. Charge into him, beautiful. Our damage is like right at that sweet spot where it's pretty close to one-shotting enemies. But if I had literally any more physical damage, it would just be better in every manageable way. I was a little too afraid of the fire coming out of that axe beneath me. I kind of overcommitted to that movement there as a result. He couldn't have reached me, but um, I took some damage anyway. Oh, did have the shield. Didn't use it in time. Thought this mage was actually a significantly weaker one. 
Maybe we missed it with the Kamehameha wave. Maybe we killed the mage and that's a new one entirely. I'm not sure. Hoping for a little bit of food here in the room of lights. Does it have anything for me? Oof, 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 no. No, it <laughs> uh, Shields up! I let mages get behind me, that's pretty scary. Nice! Keep him in the corner. Get the crits. Oh, you try to joust me? No, sir. I'm the jouster here. Look at this castle clear so far. Such a huge area we have to cover. And again, I don't really know. I don't really know how I'm doing. I do love the Kamehameha spell, dude. It is so crazy strong. We found the boss room. I don't know. I kind of think my HP is okay. Scholar weapon plus three, probably not something I'll be equipping. Uh, let's just check out the other rooms really fast. Ah, really fast. <laughs> Before I commit to doing something boss related. Because of course, if we go in there, the, the run's basically done. Yeah, we might pull off something miraculous. But to be fair, we also don't know what my HP is at right now. So like these trap hits could be really, really big. And maybe I shouldn't be down here wasting any time. Uh, I don't want either of these. Let's see if we can get something for a good reset. Uh, Diogen's bargain. Diogenes bargain. I don't know what this means. It is the privilege of a god to want nothing and godlike of men to want little. What does this do? No more gold. All gold bonuses are converted into XP instead. I don't hate that. I actually don't hate that at all. This is one of my lowest level classes. Puzzle no jumping. Uh... <laughs> How do I do that better? How do I do that better? Would you do this? Oh my god. Okay, is it drop? Bounce? Bounce? Bounce to open. Fall. Drop. Bounce off of the barrel. Then bounce off the door and dash in. I think that's how you do it. That's crazy hard. Hey, we found the dry lake for the first time. That's a huge find for us. We've never actually made it to the bottom of the castle since we hit New Game Plus. So the fact that we see it is very good. Uh, we have the potential to full clear. But we also have the potential to die on the next enemy that hits us. I'm gonna take my chances on the boss. It's gonna be hard, but we do block projectiles from this guy as he sends them forward. You know, occasionally, whenever we have the ability ready. I can also charge up for some pretty big hits we're gonna have to block right away. I could just stay here and pump some damage. Oh, I can't stay there anymore. And I'm not sure where I can really be at this point. We have to dash towards him as this phase starts. And I imagine that seeking fireballs make that phase a little bit more awkward. Ah, there's so many projectiles. We could have blocked it. I was just a little late. Easy damage opportunity here. I want to get away from that spell, which we do just fine. We just have to dash back in here and then find that sweet spot. It looks like he actually shoots out more projectiles with that magma orb spell as well. We're going to block these and just walk right up, to be honest. And I could stay out of range of the fire without hitting the spikes on this side. All right, this is starting to get some promise to it. There's just much fewer windows where you can deal damage. I just think that's the biggest change. As long as we're patient, we should be fine. And this is still such a huge opportunity here. You really got to go in on that. Oh, my stick flicked the other direction. That was not user error. That was stick error. Fuck, fuck this stick. Whoa, there's not a lot of room to move right now. 
and these little resonating orbs last basically an eternity. I'm afraid of phase two, bro. Let me try to get my shield to block these going into phase two. There's two waves of fire projectiles. Oh my God. Hey, we should get some pretty good Lancer XP. Oh, that's armor percentage up. Who is it that has the weight? I totally misquoted it earlier. Well, anyway, Dragon Lancer still getting two levels is really, really good for us. Dude, Spelunker. You can see all the treasure chests on the map. That actually sounds really fun. I don't really know what I want to play next. I don't know if this will be a video character or not. I feel like I'm about to lose my voice soon. It's also four in the morning. I've stayed up too late again. If we check this, it'll tell me who gives equipment load. Or maybe it's just like a thing. Equipment weight is a knight or a Valkyrie. It's been a while since we've had a good knight in here. Maybe that'll be our next character. We can worry about that in a second. However... 20,000 gold sitting here ready to spend. What are we going to spend it on? The next obvious one for me, unfortunately, is going to be that equipment weight increase. It is going to cost us 5,000 gold, but that is going to give us the drowned cape. Uh, helmet. We need more weight. We need five more pounds, and then we're ready to go. Boom, there it is. That is the full upgrade of that talent. But now the drown set is on plus 15 to strength is a massive, massive damage increase. And boy, do we look good at the same time. Hey, really good boss attempt. Do that a few more times. We might have a strategy ready to go. Seems like we have to play a lot more defensive than we had to previously. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm not going to record anymore. We're not getting any further ahead of the upload schedule. But I will see you guys again soon. Uh, actually, before we leave, we have 10,000 more to spend. What are we going to spend it on? Let's get some... Um, improved Int scaling from health drops. 9,000 gold. Almost spending everything that we have. All right, guys. See you later. Goodbye.